Hi guys, welcome to another video. My name is Chelsea and today I am super excited to be here at the Daystar University where I'm going to be talking to this lovely Miss Girl about her experience studying here. Hi. Hi. Tell us your name. I am Christine Wangari Mboro, but everyone calls me Christine Mboro and okay. I prefer that. Okay. What year are you in? That's a good question. Um, um, I think I'm in third year. Okay. Yeah, it's because I started a diploma in 2018. Okay. And how our system works, if I take more units, I move faster. So right now, as I'm in third year. Okay. What course do you study? I am doing communication, specifically electronic media. That's okay. anything to do with TV, radio, the whole shabam. Mm -hmm. How long is it? It ideally takes four years mm -hmm. to do that, but you can come in in the certificate program or the diploma program. Diploma takes two years, certificate takes one year, and now degree takes four years. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose this course? I have always really been fascinated by media and mm -hmm. everything communication related. Mm -hmm. I love to speak. Mm -hmm. I love to be on camera. So Great. hence communication. <laughs> yeah. And why did you choose to study it at Daystar? Because by the time I was, and I'm saying this tongue in cheek, by the time I was choosing my career choice, my career option, Daystar was the best. And it's, I believe it still is. There oh. are of course schools that are also amazing mm -hmm. but they said to me is the best when it comes to communication mm -hmm. the best for you yes mm, okay what are some stereotypes about daystar and are they true <laughs> <laughs> well uh stereotypes one anyone hears you're from daystar they think you're a rich kid uh -huh. your parents just have all the money uh -huh. and you guys come to school in cars mm -hmm. and you wear designer clothes mm -hmm. part of that is true mm -hmm. because our fees is really high but that doesn't mean we're all rich kids mm -hmm. some of us have parents who planned properly financially uh -huh. and yeah so it's partly true partly false okay mm -hmm. describe a typical outfit a daystar student wears this is a typical outfit okay. that is to see okay. the kids. We're really into jeans mm -hmm. and really nice tops and jewelry mm -hmm. and expressive hair. Mm -hmm. That's basically it. However, we're not, we have regulations, yes. so we can't wear things for ladies that are low cleavage. We can't wear ragged jeans. We can't wear stuff that shows our arms. We can't have tattoos. We can't, it, it's, it's crazy, okay. but that's a typical. <laughs> Um, fashion style for this university student. Mm -hmm. Reach the drip 1 to 10. Solid 10.5. Wow. Guys, that's <laughs> so well. Okay, so these two well. students are on point. Even when they're not trying. <laughs> oh, okay. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. What do you like about Daystar? What do I like about this star? I like orientation mm -hmm. because in orientation we are grouped into families. Okay. And what happens is through the entire week you mm -hmm. stick by your family. Mm -hmm. And for me, those are the people who became my friends. Okay. So you go for orientation in Athi, but you're grouped in terms of the school you're gonna come to. So I was grouped with people coming to Valley Road. Okay. So we ended up sticking together. So I like orientation. I like some of my lecturers, really fun, interesting people. Mm -hmm. Shout out to you, Miss Maleche. Okay, Miss Maleche. Mungai. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I have we have awesome lecturers. Okay. On the other side, what do you dislike about Daystar? Some of the rules and regulations, yes. to be very honest. Mm -hmm. I feel like like the dress code, I am yet to understand it. However, when you go to Rome you do as the Romans do. Yeah. I also probably am more crazy about the lack of lots of activities yes i wish we had more outdoor mm -hmm, activities mm -hmm. for guys specifically in the valley road campus okay okay did daystar meet your expectations was it worse or better than you expected That's an awesome question um it surpassed my expectations in okay. a lot of ways okay especially the lecture methods uh -huh. the classrooms mm -hmm. i have no bias towards I wouldn't even say that, but oh. yeah, it's the first oh. expectations in terms of classrooms, but I was underwhelmed though, in mm -hmm. terms of the campus experience. Oh yeah. But I say that's just for here in Valley Road. In Athi, they have the full campus experience. Okay. Yeah. How much do you spend roughly in a day? Okay. Um, 
personally, mm -hmm. since I have to do fair, mm -hmm. so let's let's track it like this. I have fair in the morning mm -hmm. from where I live to town. That's mm -hmm. fifty bob. From mm -hmm. town to here is mm -hmm. around another fifty bob. That's a mm -hmm. hundred. Mm -hmm. Then food here is roughly two ten. So mm -hmm. we're already at three ten, mm -hmm. and then fair back. So oh. roughly. If I'm safe with like 700 bob, but oh. that's if I'm not gonna go hang out with my friends at KFC, if mm. I'm not gonna go for a movie. Mm -hmm. And here, guys mm -hmm. really like to hang out after classes. Okay. Yeah. How do most students get to school? Do they drive or use public transport? Now that's another stereotype people have, mm -hmm. that we all have cars. Mm -hmm. I wish, I really <laughs> wish. But uh -huh. majority people come, are drunk it by public transport and then cabs and then driving and then borders. Okay. Yeah. What are the common lunch spots here at Daystar? Okay, we have three cafeterias. Okay. Uh, there's one at the entrance, there's mm -hmm. one at Freedom Corner mm -hmm. and there's another one close to the auditorium. Mm -hmm. So that's where we have lunch. Other options are, we're surrounded by KFC, mm -hmm. we have Mug and Bean, we mm -hmm. have Java, mm -hmm. so that's where also people go. So the most common ones are right here in school, okay. in between classes. Mm -hmm. On a scale of 1 to 10, how likely are you to graduate on time? I would not put that personally. Mm -hmm. 10. I 10. will mm -hmm. hopefully graduate yes. on time. Mm -hmm. But that, as I said earlier, mm -hmm. it's fully dependent on how you select your units. So our school works in a system where you decide how many units you want to take mm -hmm. throughout a semester. Mm -hmm. And if you take very few units, uh -huh. you're going to take a longer time uh -huh. to graduate. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is there cheating in exams? <laughs> Do I want to answer that okay. in public? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I will say I have heard mm -hmm. of people mm -hmm. who are able to cheat the system. Yes. But it's difficult because okay. our lecturers watch they, what okay. you as you do mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. But students are students. We can all cheat the system if we decided to. So yes, there is <laughs> cheating. Yes, in students will be students. Students will be students. <laughs> um, what is the dating culture like here at Daystar? Um, I'll speak for Valley Road. Valley Road campus dating culture. I don't know how you term dating culture, but people do date. Are there in serious school. couples or mm. is it just situationships and hookups? Okay, so there are serious couples, mm -hmm. very many serious couples, mm -hmm. but we have a culture of being in school only when required to and then you mm -hmm. leave. So mm -hmm. you can't really tell who's dating who because mm -hmm. everyone is so close, all friends are so close, you okay. think everyone is dating everyone. Okay. But yeah, there are serious couples here. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. Given we're still youth, there are so many poor version situationships. For sure. And it ends up being messy, it affects some people's grades and GPAs, but it's the flow of life. Just because yeah. you're in Desta doesn't mean you're exempt from what happens in the world. It's true. Yeah. What are some cool events exclusively for your school? Cool events exclusively for our school. We have a gala, or maybe I'll say it's Mr. and Miss Daystar, but it's umbrellaed under another event I really can't quite remember. Okay. But that happens every year and it's really awesome. We also have Isaac dinners, and I know that's not exclusively for Daystar, yeah. but <laughs> Isaac Daystar has yeah. their dinners. Okay. Okay. And thankfully, Isaac also uh, is able to get us to watch movies like at a much yeah, yes. lower rate yes. in other, yeah. like Diamond Plaza. So mm -hmm. that's, what, that's what we have. Mm -hmm. Do you stay at home or in the hostels? Now, for Desa Valley Road, we don't have school hostels. Okay. So anyone in Desa Valley Road has private hostels. So myself, I live with my sister now. So okay. neither a hostel and neither in school. It's mm. a, we have a home. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Does Desa provide bundles for online learning? Well, <laughs> no, it does not. Okay, <laughs> no, day not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need to do not. better. <laughs> do you like how you're taught? I do. I really like how we're taught, mm -hmm. personally. Mm -hmm. I feel like the lecturers give it their all. Yes. But of course, it's, it's, it's on our attitude, on how we decide to take yes. it in. Okay. Of course, mm -hmm. there are lecturers who probably don't give it their all, mm -hmm. so to say, yeah. not naming names. Yeah. But I'd say it's an 80-20 situation 80 percent is fantastic 20 yeah. percent is wishy-washy yeah and i think that's a common experience it's in all in, in all campuses yes. yeah mm -hmm. are there any famous people in your school yes there are 
but I'd say now there were, although there are, there are v- very famous people. I would not mention their names, but we have like socialites or people married to socialites okay. or people who are content creators mm-hmm. who are really known mm-hmm. in Daystar. So yeah. Okay. What is your best memory of university life so far? My best memory of university life would be something that happened not here in school but with my university friends. Mm -hmm. We used to go for movies a lot. Mm -hmm. So we'd do that. I remember one time we got into a movie theater with food and you're not allowed to come in with food. We just had a blast and I think from that we've really kept close. Mm -hmm. So I'd push that over to a birthday party I had and my university friends came over and it was fantastic. (laughs) How many are you in your class? approximately 30 30 okay. to 40 mm. Lista has a policy where you can't have I think over 40 students in a class if it gets to 40s 50s that class is split and that really contributes to how we learn because the lecturer is able to monitor how people are uh, understanding stuff it's easier to engage with people more is there a gender gender balance in your class No, generally, like I think everywhere in the world, there Mm -hmm. are more women than men in class. Mm -hmm. But there is a class where we had more guys. The class itself was a bit more technical. However, yeah, there tends to be more girls than boys in class because even in the school itself, the general population is more women. What is the most memorable thing any of your classmates has done in class? Memorable thing, memorable thing. I, I really don't have an answer to that one. Yeah, we, we keep it pretty simple in class. <laughs> okay. On a scale of 1 to 10, how attractive is your student body? Student body? Mm-hmm. Define attractive. <laughs> um, in your own terms. Wow, mm-hmm. attractive to me. Mm-hmm. I'd say like really hot people. Mm-hmm. We have really hot people in the student body. Okay. But yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10. Okay, yeah. Daystar University students. <laughs> What's one thing you would change about Daystar? I would change the sociability factor. Yes. Yeah, I feel like we don't get to mingle with a lot of people. Okay. Mm. What's one u- unique thing about Daystar that is not necessarily in other universities? Our rules. Mm-hmm. We have insane rules. Yeah, okay. I don't think other campuses have rules like we do. Yeah. How safe is Daystar Valley Road? A hundred percent safe. Mm-hmm. We have guards everywhere. Mm-hmm. We have people who check on um, where your stuff is. Mm-hmm. However, of course, we have theft issues, but mm-hmm. that's like every other school. There are people who are not here with the same agenda. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you have a side hustle? Myself, yes, I do. Mm-hmm. I do photography and videography, and that gets me paid. Okay, do you have a page people can check out your work? Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. I am a content creator, so mm-hmm. my pages are Christine Buru everywhere on Facebook, on Twitter, mm-hmm. on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Is your school diverse in terms of are most people from Nairobi or are other towns and counties represented? Other towns and counties are represented, but mm-hmm. not in Valley Road campus. In Valley Road, we're majorly Nairobians mm-hmm. and guys from Kiambu. But when you go to Athi campus, we have guys from everywhere. Mm-hmm. And what about socioeconomically? Are most people from the upper, middle, or lower class backgrounds? I'd say we are majorly from the middle and upper, mm-hmm. and a few lower class. So that is specially for the Nairobi campus. Okay. And you'd have to ask someone from yeah. the Athi campus how it is there. Yeah. What's your favorite club or organization on campus that you are a part of? I am unfortunately not part of a club okay. or organization, okay. but I do find ISEC really active mm-hmm. and the film club, they're new but they're doing really well. Okay. Yeah. How do people react when you tell them you attend Daystar University? It's the same stereotype, mm-hmm. Aish, rich kid, Aish, what to wali on a pesa, mm-hmm. I, <laughs> that's how they react yeah. and they expect me to speak a lot of English mm-hmm. and the English doesn't come with Daystar, it's more about personality. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Approximately how much do you walk on a school day in steps or kilometers? Ooh, I'd say <laughs> 300 steps. Mm-hmm. Our school is really small, so yeah. in like two yeah. minutes you're where you need okay. to be. Yeah. On a scale of 1 to 10, how hard are your exams? I'd give it a 5.5. Our okay. exams aren't hard because mm-hmm. they're all sourced from stuff you've already learned. Mm-hmm. Who is your favorite celebrity? 
favorite celebrity here in Kenya I god that's a difficult question <laughs> let me just say for now Wanjiru and Juru okay celebrity. um in globally I don't know JP Cooper maybe yeah mm-hmm. what's your favorite song at the moment uh, my favorite song at the moment is a gospel song it's mm-hmm. called Ngizo Libiza mm-hmm. by We Will Worship mm-hmm. they're a South, South oh. African band oh mm-hmm. that's nice do you get a lot of assignments a lot a lot of assignments mm-hmm. uh, depending on your program especially the what's this what's this the undergraduate program we have a lot of assignments okay yeah. and what holds more weight on your final grade is it exams or assignments assignments okay. exams tend to give you like let's say 30 40 percent okay the rest is from your assignments oh, okay mm-hmm. what's your number one tip to succeed at daystar study and know what brought you here such a cliche but it's true mm-hmm. just study mm-hmm. for your exams okay mm-hmm. how many libraries do you have we have one library mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I said, our school is pretty small. Yes. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Is it a popular study spot? No. Most people study at home. However, okay. over <laughs> over exam period, naturally, mm-hmm. everyone flocks into the library. Okay. Does your school help you secure jobs and internships? Internships, yes, and also jobs. We have groups, and on our email, mm-hmm. we get to see a lot of opportunities. Okay. Mm-hmm. What is the most popular course within the Daystar Valley Road campus? It has to be communication. We have oh. nursing, mm-hmm. we have law, mm-hmm. uh, but it's communication. Many people take communication. Okay. Mm-hmm. Have you ever had a crush on one of your classmates? <laughs> <laughs> have I? Oh, yeah. Yes, I have. Okay. Um, yes, I have. What's your favorite building here on campus? Definitely DAC, where we study. I, I like that building and now the auditorium. I find it cool and fancy. Mm-hmm. And your favorite chilling spot is? Freedom Corner. Mm-hmm. The gazebos there. Mm-hmm. I like that they brought in gazebos. They weren't there before, but mm-hmm. now that they are, it's awesome. Okay. Do you think your school is clean? Extremely clean. Mm-hmm. You always you will always find a cleaning person walking around, cleaning mm-hmm. the stairs. Mm-hmm. It's a very, very mm-hmm. clean environment. Mm-hmm. In your opinion, how easy is it to make friends outside your course? It's not easy because you don't Mm -hmm. take the same classes. Uh Even um, common units, Uh you tend to take them with people in your course. Okay. It's hard hard to make friends in other Mm -hmm. courses. Mm -hmm. What resources does your school have to ensure your mental health is in check? We have Nuru Counseling Center Mm -hmm. that um, gives counseling services. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we have prayer groups for chapel, so that helps. In your time at Daystar, has there been a strike or rumors of one? Actually, right before I joined Daystar, there Mm -hmm. was a strike. Okay. But it wasn't anything major. Okay. I think out there it was portrayed as something huge, Mm -hmm. but it wasn't that big. Okay. How are elections conducted in your school? We vote. We vote for our Congress people, and then the Congress people um, go and vote for now the heads of, the, like the president and all of that stuff. So that's how it works. Who is your favorite alumni? I don't know. I did not really have an experience with the alumni mm-hmm. in our school. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How has Desa changed you as a person? I think I've learned the value of communication. Mm-hmm. I always thought I was good at communicating until I got here mm-hmm. and realized that communication really runs the world. Mm-hmm. Do you listen to podcasts? I do, a lot. Which one is your favorite? <laughs> I'd say TMI. TMI, and okay. the Joyride podcast. Okay. Do you have free days in between classes? Like I said, we select the days that we want to have classes. So like I have Monday and Friday, but standardly, Wednesdays after one o'clock, we are free. Okay. Are your classes mostly in the morning, afternoon or evening? My classes are majorly in the morning Mm -hmm. till around two Mm o'clock. But very many people have classes really early in the morning. Uh Which time do you prefer? I really prefer 11 o'clock classes. They tend to move faster, I think, because everyone is ready for lunch. Okay. Yeah. What's one thing you regret doing or not doing in your first year at Daystar? 
I regret not going out more. I feel like I, I focused on in, in school a lot, but I feel like that would be the time to get more friends. Mm -hmm. But that didn't happen because, I don't know, I think I was getting used to the fact that I'm now in university. Okay. Do you think a university degree is still important? I really do. Mm -hmm. uh, in the mm -hmm. world we're in right now, yes. you have to have an education and many Th that's people, right and it mm -hmm. opens doors for lots and mm -hmm. lots of people mm -hmm. what's one thing you can't leave the house without when coming to school my bag <laughs> <laughs> okay um tell us about your hobbies my hobbies i like swimming mm -hmm. though i've not done it a lot mm -hmm. i listen to a lot of music mm -hmm. music is everything for me mm -hmm. yeah as a kid what did you want to become when you grew up I wanted to be um, a doctor, mm -hmm. I think, mm -hmm. until I got to high school and I realized that I, I want to be a TV anchor. Okay, media. That's, yeah. a, that's a drastic <laughs> shift. Change. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, is, it is. How serious of a student are you on a scale of 1 to 10? I used to be a 9, but I think now I'm around a 7. Yeah, 7, 8. Okay. Approximately how many school related PDFs do you have on your phone? I have, they probably fill my whole storage. Mm -hmm. I have so many school documents. Mm -hmm. I can Also because I keep, I keep saving like twice or thrice. Mm -hmm. So yeah. <laughs> okay. What's the last thing you googled? The last thing I googled was portal .ke. I was looking at my audit. How long are your school holidays? Our school holidays roughly go for two to three weeks, but that is because while most guys in public campus are in on long holiday, we have the option of taking a semester at that time. Oh, okay. Yeah. How are you really feeling today? I feel good. Mm -hmm. I've had an awesome experience. Mm -hmm. I got to talk to one Jiu and Jiu. Oh Shout my out to God! Her. Your and favorite like, celebrity. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's allowed me to really redirect in terms mm -hmm. of the things I want to do. Wow, that's great. Mm -hmm. Does your school have a dress code? Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. We are expected to be very, very decent, and as I mentioned, no ragged jeans, no tattoos, no cleavage showing and the whole shabam okay have you ever considered dropping out no i haven't it's not crossed my mind mm. i value my education okay <laughs> you're right miss girl what would you tell your first year self that you're gonna do so well in school mm. relax mm -hmm. you've got this mm -hmm. and life is for the enjoyment not yes to not to stress about mm -hmm. it all the time i like that would you recommend Daysta to anyone I would, mm -hmm. I would. Just don't come here expecting that the stereotype you've heard about our school is okay. true. Mm -hmm. You'll be gravely, gravely in surprise. Okay. So I would. Share your social media handles if you don't mind. Awesome. I am Christine Burrow mm -hmm. on every single platform, mm -hmm. wherever it is. I'm not that active on TikTok mm -hmm. though. So mostly Instagram, on Spotify for my podcast. Everywhere, Christine Burrow. Mm. Mm. Thank you so much, Christine, You're for welcome. your time. I had fun chatting with you and, and getting an to know time. about your experience. And I love the vibes. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are feeling the vibes from Thank wherever you. you are. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Bye. Bye.